So equations that are in the general form come in this ax plus by equals c form. And a, b, and c are, are, are integers. In other words, they're not, they can be positive or negative, but they're not fractions and they're not decimals. They're like whole numbers, positive and negative. So an example of something in general form would be something like uh, 3x plus 2y equals 12. Or it could be something like... Uh, 4x plus 10y equals 40, something like that. So general form, there's a real advantage to general form. We, we can't read the slope off of it. We can't read a point off of it. But what we can read are the x and y intercepts. So if I think about a graph, this is the x-axis, this is the y-axis. The x-intercept is where it crosses the x. The y-intercept is where it crosses the y. So there would be intercepts there, x-intercept and y-intercept. So that being said, what do I know? I know that x-intercepts, anything that's here, has to have a y-value of 0, right? It has, like, no height on it. So x-intercepts, come in the form some number 0. And y-intercepts, similarly, where it crosses the y-axis, x has to be 0, because it has no left-right motion off that, off that 0, 0, off that origin. So a y-intercept would be this form. So here's what's great about this. I can substitute these into this general form and get these pretty easily. So for example, if I let y be 0, notice this right here is a 0, right? And so if this whole thing is a 0, 2 times 0 is 0, I just have 3x equals 12. Well, that means x is 4. Similarly, if I let x be 0, 3 times 0 is 0. That's just a 0. 2 times y equals 12. So y must be 6. And so then notice now I know these two points that it goes through. It goes through the point 4, 0. So let's say that's about here. And it goes through the point 0, 6. So that's about here. And it's graphed. So general form is a really good form for just graphing x and y intercepts. Let's do it with this one as well. X intercept is when y is 0. Y intercept is when x is 0. So let's see. What, let y be 0. Boop, 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 boop. 4 times x uh, equals 40. So x must be 10. That's good. I'm going to change this to minus just to mix it up a little bit. Let x be 0. 4 times 0 is 0. So notice now I have negative 10y equals 40. So divide by negative 10, y must be negative 4. So if I sketch that graph, uh, 10, 0, we could say it's about here. Negative 4, 0, maybe about here. Uh, 0, negative 4, sorry, maybe about here. Straight line through those, and I graphed them. General form is really good for finding x and y intercepts. Again, x-intercepts happen when y is 0, y-intercepts happen when x is 0.